In this video, I am going to recreate one of the common issue that many new GitHub users have faced. The problem statement is, you are doing some changes and committed the changes through UI of GitHub and then without pulling first in the local Git repository, you have added some code there or file there and then trying to push the code from local git repository to the remote git repository so let's do that so here i have a eureka service registry as a repository and i'm going to add a readme file readme file give you the description about the project if anything want you to install or how to install you can provide here or the business value of the repository so here just adding a simple string let's say hello for commit then going to the preview for the commit now adding a commit message let's say added readme then added a string hello you have two options one is to commit to master branch or create a new branch then create a pull request to merge to the master branch so I'm directly committing to the master branch commit new file now you can see I have a readme.md that is now part of my project and it's saying the repository name Eureka service registry and the description that I have added now let's go to local git repository creation part so here I have a folder git so in order to create Let's start our git bash here. Now git bash has started. In order to mark this git folder as a local repository, type the command git init and run. In the console you can see initialized empty git repository. Now let's add some file to this github folder. Now I have added the files. Now let's add to the git so git add dot if you want to add the whole thing to the folder use a dot operator otherwise use a specific file name so let's expand this little bit now here you can see the files has been added now try to commit git commit minus m and add a description added Eureka service registry project now here you can see 12 files changes there and it had added the file to a local git repository now let's try to sync between this local git repository and the remote git repository in order to do that you need the url of your remote git repository so again go to your github account i want this eureka service registry url so we we'll go to clone or download and click on it here is the url that you can use to add local git repository to the remote git repository so just copy this url again go back to the git bash and type the command git remote add origin and paste the url of remote git repository now the connection is established between your local git repository and the remote git repository now you can try to push the code from local to the remote so git push reason to master now here comes the error part this is because you have tried to push the code to the remote without pulling it from the remote your remote version is already one part ahead of your local repository so every time remember in git or any other some version whenever trying to push the code pull it before and then push the code so that there should be sync up between local and remote now in order to resolve this problem just try to pull once 
Now here you will get two options. One is git pull your remote branch and your branch and other is git branch setup stream to origin branch master. So let's run last command git branch so we could have sync up upstream. Origin slash master to master. Now the branch master is set track with remote branch master. Now we will do git pull again, but this time we will use allow option for all unregistered or unrelated histories. This is used if we have remote branch and the local branch at different heads and you are trying to merge that. So if you don't use allow unrelated history, the merging will fail. So if you do that with allow unrelated history, it will try to merge but there should be conflict and then it will uh, merge should fail. So go to your file Eureka service registry, open dot git ignore and then remove this head. At the last of the file also you have to remove. Now save the file, again go back to your git bash and try to add this git ignore once again. Now it is added and try to commit it again. Adding git ignore. Now the commit is done. Now try to do pull. So you can see here now it is up to date. Now you can push your code from local to the GitHub. So try try git push origin master. Here you can see now I am able to push the code. So if you go to the URL part of main GitHub account and you can refresh here. Here you can see all the code have been pushed. So in this way you can resolve the issue. So always remember for any sub version if you are committing the code either through local or through anywhere always try to pull that repository first and then push.